Jonathan, it is not fair. We go on these assignments together, right? I do half the work, and you get all the stuff. Hey, well, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, the boss could if he wanted to. Come on, boss. What do you say? Just one time. Just give me an assignment, all right? I don't care what it is. Just give me the stuff, and I'll handle it. See, nothing. He doesn't listen to me. He never. <laughs> Boy, I would like to get my hands on that guy. Will you knock it off? Stuff. <laughs> I got the stuff. <laughs> Mary Creswell was originally supposed to take this case, but she just, just had... had a baby boy. <laughs> well, yes. How did you know? Uh, Mark is, is very uh, intuitive in that way. Right. Well, well, good. Because I think it's going to take about all of your intuition and sensitivity to handle this case. Hey, no matter what it is, we can handle it, you know? No sweat. No sweat, Mr. Gordon. Yeah. I mean, what's the problem? Her parents splitting up, she's on drugs, that... Mark, what's wrong? She's dying. Jonathan, she's gonna die. She wants to be a marine biologist. <laughs> Ever since she was a teeny kid, you couldn't keep her out of the water. We always said she was part fish. <laughs> <laughs> she, she scuba dives. She knows every book Cousteau ever wrote. Other kids wanted dolls for Christmas. She wanted us to contribute money to save the whales. That was her dream. Everything's money. I mean, there's no money to be made in saving dolphins, is there? Well, I guess not. It's the money. That's what it is. I just told you that. No, no, no. I'm not talking about the dolphins. I'm talking about your operation. That's why you won't have the bone marrow transplant. It's the money. It's not true. Yes, it is. You're afraid that your folks don't have the money. That's exactly what you're thinking. Hi, my name is Lee Bradley, and like all of you who are watching, I'm going to die. In my case, though, it might come a little sooner, like real soon if I don't get an operation. Hey, keep it down a minute. There are a lot of kids like me who face operations that could save our lives. The only problem is these things cost money, a lot of money. You're really doing good, aren't you, kiddo? Well, we'll know how good or bad in a little while. The doctor's bringing down the test results. Nail biting time, you know. The tests are in. You are definitely in remission. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. Oh, my Sure, they'd be here. Well, you know, honey, they're busy. They got other things to do. You're not their only case, you know. She didn't know what. It was all Mark's idea. What's Mark's idea? Hey, don't look so surprised. I do come up with one once in a while, you know? Now, you remember when you told me you wanted to be part of this Save the Dolphin campaign? Yeah. Hmm. What exactly was it you wanted to do? Well, to help raise money and stuff for the boats they're sending out, you know, to stop the deployment of nets. It's nice. It's not good enough. What do you mean, not good enough? Well, I mean, anybody can pass around a tin cup, you know. They need people on the boats. 
Uh, this is Tracy Martin from Save the Dolphins. I'll let her tell you what's going on. Hi, Lee. Mark here contacted us the other day. We've already spoken to your doctor, and he's given us the tentative okay. Okay for what? If you're feeling up to it, we're going to fly you and your family to Seattle. And from there, you'll board one of the Save the Dolphin boats, and we'll make you an official member of the rescue team. You're going to do more and pass the hat, kiddo. You're going to find the dolphins in the sea. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Everything I ever dreamed of, it's all coming true. What a day. What a life. And I've never felt better in my life, never. Sports are so little. Are you sure they're safe? Mom, they're fine. Listen to me. I'm doing something that I want to do more than anything else in the whole world. I mean, what's the good of being alive if you're too afraid to really live? Where's my scared little girl? I am so proud of you. Let's go! I gotta go. Come on, come on, let's go! Come on, Jan, let's go. And don't embarrass me by barfing on the boat. <laughs> Come down and tell you this. 
I talked to Lee on the phone last night. You have never heard a kid so excited in your life. She made me promise I'd come down and tell you about it. She saved a dolphin. The guys let her name it. You know what she named it? Max. They're gonna move it to some uh, marine park. What's wrong, guy? I don't know what you mean, Mark. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's Lee. Mark, you know I can only discuss Lee's case with her family. He's not in remission anymore. The test came back. And she's not in remission anymore. That's it, isn't it? Parents already know. I spoke to them this morning. Oh, we never should have set this thing up. I mean, it's going to take too much out of her. She's going to need all of her strength for more, more treatments, right? There's not going to be any more treatments. Look, I know how close the two of you have grown to her, especially you, Mark. We've done everything. There's nothing more we can do for her except try to make her comfortable. I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to be alone. police doing here what's going on it's bobby now he heard us talking about lee before we even had a chance to tell him how do you tell a 10 year old he ran away i called all over the place i can't find him you know i can't find him anywhere i don't blame him i feel like running away myself i know jim he's just a little guy he couldn't have gotten very far please will find him you don't know bobby I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Stay here with Lisa? She's falling apart in there. Jennifer's in there with her now. Then why don't you stay here? I'll go look for Bobby. I got neighbors out looking for him everywhere, too. Look, why don't you stay here with Lisa? She needs you. What about Lee? I can't even talk to her. Mark, please. Would you? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Boss, I know you gave Mark the stuff for this assignment, but I can sure use some help. Thanks. She's not in any pain. She has maybe a month. I held her for a while, you know. We both cried. I don't know what else to do. What's it like, John?
finally you're at peace. Mark a peace like you've never felt before. I think I'll take a walk. Lee. You talk to Lee? No. I think she just wants to be alone. Jennifer, you're gonna have to help her now. But she's dying. How can I help her? Well, you remember what she told us? Uh, the most important thing in her life was to make a difference. A real difference. It's too late now. She's not even gonna get a chance. It's not too late. She has a month. Jennifer could be the most important month of her life, but she's gonna need you. To do what? To convince her not to give up on her dream. To make her go ahead with her talk to the Senate. I can't do that. Yes, you can. You have to. You're going to have to be the big sister now. Joan Rivers. Got a favor to ask. You want my room when I'm dead, don't you? That too. I told you before, the bras don't fit. I don't want you to quit. I don't think I have much say in it anymore. We have that meeting at the state capitol. You have to talk to the whole Senate, remember? I don't think I'm going to be around, Jen. We could get him to hold a special session then. Marcus set it up just like he did with the TV station. You could talk to him. You talk to him for me. I can't do it like you can. You're the smart one, not me. Oh, you're not so bad for a brat. I mean it, Lee, please. This bill is important. You're the one who said so. What are you getting so mad at me for? I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you, sis. I'm... I'm mad at death. I wish I could punch it right in the nose. I wish to God I could. Because I don't want it to win. I want you to win. I want you to get that bill passed. But the things you really care about won't... Won't die with me? Yes. Oh. Oh. I want you to have your wish. I want you to make a difference. I want you to be remembered. Because you're the best. You tell Mark to try and set it up. The Bradley girls are going to go get him.
sorry, but Senator Simpson's not even here. Ma'am, please be honest with us on this one. Are you just saying that because you know he won't see us? Or is he somewhere in the city where we can find him? Look, folks, I'm on your side. So Senator Simpson. He's all in favor of this bill. But unfortunately, he's on vacation in Montana. He's not due back for another 10 days. Senator, if you just listen. I'm listening. Now, Fred, I want you to make sure that we nail that appropriations bill shut today. Senator, we support a special session of the committee. No. Now, Fred, I want you to make but sure... But, Senator, the I girl and her family have come a long way just to be heard. Well, they can just be heard during the regular sessions uh, in two months. The Dolphins will be safe until then. The girl won't be alive by then. Mr. Gordon, I still don't know how you conned my secretary into letting you in here. But I can tell you right now, it won't do you any good. Senator, it is so I important. think that we need to get government off the back of business. And it's time we realize that the conservationists in this country are trying to make capitalism an endangered species. Listen, all the girl wants is a chance to talk to your committee. She is dying. And my heart goes out to her and her family. And I would be delighted to have her and her family as my guests on a special tour of the Capitol if they'd like. But calling the committee into special session, it's out of the question. They didn't come here to have a tour of their government. They came here to be part of it. How'd you make out? Two no's, one yes. That gives us three altogether. We couldn't even get in the door to see anybody. Well, there's still the chairman, Senator Arnold. Nobody's seen him yet. That's because nobody can get in to see him. No, I think he knows we're here. He's dodging us or something. Senator Arnold, Dave Kirkwood of the Chronicle. Do you think the governor is going to veto your budget proposal? Well, if he tries, I think he'll find I got me enough votes in both houses to override. Bobby? I don't think he wants that kind of embarrassment. Hal David, KFTZ. Senator, the Speaker of the House has called you a petty tyrant who's oh. used the Senate as his own private kingdom. Well, I don't know about that. I, I see myself as just a simple public servant. Bobby Bradley, Meadows Elementary School student newsletter. I have a question, sir. Now, that's what I like to see, our young people taking an interest in state government, probably from one of the school tours. What was that question again, young fella? Do you believe in God, sir? Oh. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes. Well, I tell you, young fella, that's the best question I ever heard up here. And I think our, our constituents have a desire to know, a, a right to know how their elected officials stand on the great moral issues of the day. Do you, sir? Do you believe in God? I certainly do, my fine young fella. I certainly do. And, sir, isn't it true that, that there's like a little voice inside of us all and it's up to us whether we listen to that voice and do the right thing or not? Young man, I don't believe I've ever heard it more beautifully put in my entire life. And I tell you what, you tell your teacher to watch the 6 o'clock news tonight because if I know anything about these boys, you're going to be there. And me too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> then, sir, would you please call your committee in the special session? so they can hear what my sister has to say, because she, she's dying, sir. And if you don't let her talk to you guys now, she's not going to be around when you're ready to listen. Well, son, I, um... Please, don't answer yet, sir. Please, just take a second and listen to God, because he'll tell you what the right thing to do is. I know he will. Where's your sister now, son? She's right down there. That's my sister, sir. Her name's Lee. Young lady, how would two o'clock be? It would be fine, Senator. It would be just fine. I'm not going to talk about any bill or politics because this is more important than that. I told my sister the other day that this isn't my world anymore because I'm leaving soon, too soon. 
I'm scared, you know. I know maybe I shouldn't be, and I wasn't for a while. I was mad. And that was a lot easier than this. Because I'm scared. So I try and, you know, like the song says, think of my favorite things. And I think of sunsets and the wind in my hair, of the way the air smells in the morning when there isn't any pollution and you can smell the trees and the earth. You can smell life itself and the sea, the mother of all life, the life of our planet. That's what the sea is. I know what it's like to feel like you're drowning, to know you're dying. And I know what it's like to have to say goodbye to all the beauty of the earth. I know because I'm dying. But you're not. It's your world and my little sisters and my brothers. And I'm asking you, all of you, to hold life very close, very dearly. Because you don't know how awful it is to lose it until you have to say goodbye. Every day we senselessly kill another piece of this earth. We all live our own separate little worlds, concerned only with what's best for ourselves. I'll make my money now and to heck with what happens later. Another endangered species disappears, so what? I'm doing great. I'm providing for my family. But what would that legacy be to your family when all the dolphins are gone and all the condors and the oceans have died and the ozone layers are destroyed? Is that the legacy you want to leave? I haven't made a will, because I really don't have anything to leave anyone, except my room, and my sister's already got dibs on that. So I leave to you the planet Earth. I bequeath you the land, and the skies, and the seas, and the heavens, and the earth and all the creatures God created. I give you life. And I hope to God, who made it all, that you don't waste it. It's the dearest thing you've got. It's everything. Hi, kiddo. Hi. I just talked to Senator Arnold on the telephone. He is sure there is enough votes to pass the bill. <laughs> you did it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey, what's this? A Save the Dolphins poster. I just finished it. Oh, it's great. I was just wishing... What? That I could see Max, the dolphin we saved. 
and I could swim with him just once. Wouldn't that be something to swim on a dolphin? Let's do it. Oh, sure. Oh, I mean it. Are you serious? You bet I am. I don't think it's going to work with Max. He isn't trained enough yet. How about we try one of the other dolphins? Max is the one she wants to swim with, Key. I'll give it another try. It's no use. Are you sure you don't want to go over to the other tank? No, Max was the one whose life I helped save. It was a dumb idea. Let's just go home. Honey, we can go over to the other Please. tank. Please, I just want to go home. Look, uh, I'm sorry it didn't work out. saved your life. It's about time you did something to pay her back.
she's resting. I don't think she's in any pain. She, she wants to see you, Mark. She wants to say goodbye. afraid anymore. I know it sounds crazy, but when I swam with Max, he talked to me. Not with words. It was so strange and so beautiful. I could feel his thoughts. He made me understand. Life doesn't end. It never ends. Here. What's this? A poem. I want you to read it when it's time. <laughs> hey, no tears, remember? I'll be here. You know, I had this crazy dream that I died and I came back as a dolphin. Who knows? Maybe my dream will come true. Wouldn't that be something, Mark? Yeah, kiddo. It could happen, couldn't it? All things are possible, right? All things are possible. <sighs> I think I think I'll sleep now. Do not weep for me, for I have lived. I have flown with magic dolphins, weightless beneath the sea. Do not weep for me, for I have given. I have joined my hand with my fellow's hand to leave the planet better than I found it. Do not weep for me. Do not weep for me, for I have loved and been loved by parents, brothers, sisters, by those I loved who loved me back. For I never knew a stranger, only friends. Do not weep for me. Do not weep for me. When you feel the ocean spray upon your face, I am there. When your heart beats faster than a dolphin's leaping grace, I am there. When you reach out to touch another's heart, as I now touch God's face, I am there. 
Do not weep for me. I am not gone. I wish I could believe. What? That a dream would come true. All things are possible. They are, Mark. Believe me, they are. Heartbeat faster at the dolphin's leaping grace. I am there. When you reach out to touch another's heart, as now I touch God's face, I am there. Do not weep for me. I am not gone.